Hello everyone, this is Dave from Noise Proxy, um, and today I'm going to do a basic tutorial on, <clears throat> on uh, creating MIDI clips, uh, duplicating them, looping them, making new MIDI clips, that kind of thing. Very basic. Um, so here we go. So I already created like a, just like a drum rack with a, a kick hi-hat and a snare. Um, this isn't supposed to sound awesome. This is just uh, showing you how to create MIDI clips and uh, mess around with them, edit them, move them around, duplicate them, loop them, that kind of thing. So uh, now that I have a drum rack in my MIDI track, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this section because I want a uh, I want to make a four bar loop. Uh, let's do this at 140. And so I have this highlighted. I can right click and go down to insert MIDI clips. Okay, or I can just hit shift command or shift control M and that will create a MIDI clip. So automatically it has loop enabled. You can turn that off if you want or you can keep it on. I'm just going to keep it on. And actually, let's just make a one bar loop. Again, it's just Shift Control M or Command M on Mac. And uh, I'm just going to drag this out right now for eight bars. Okay, and you can see there are these little divots right here, every bar. And that's where that's that just says that it's looped. If it wasn't looped, it wouldn't have them. So you can see that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this out. Let's just drag it for four bars. Um, I'm gonna enable the headphones right here. Was just just monitoring the sound. Um, and you can see when you create a drum rack, it just gives you the the samples that you've loaded. Nothing else. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do. Uh, Let's just do kicks on one and three. I have this zoomed out pretty far. And I will put a snare on two and four. And then uh, hi hats on the and. Or on, wait, what am I doing? Yep, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm doing it double time. Okay, so that's our four bar loop. I just had to make one bar and it was already looped. And I can drag this out as much as I want. Without the loop, if you take that off, when you drag this out, it's not gonna have anything left. So you can just add on to it if you want, or if you don't wanna loop it and you just wanna mess around with it later, you can just hit Command or Control D for duplicate and duplicate it across. Now the cool thing about this, if they're not consolidated, then they are all separate clips. I did not loop them, I turned loop off, and I just duplicated these clips. These are all clips on their own. They're the same clip, but they don't, they don't, uh, they don't talk to each other, I guess. I had some questions about looping and, and that kind of thing, um, and I think, uh, they were trying to loop, uh, they were trying to loop and also change stuff within the loop, but that it doesn't work that way. So now that I've duplicated it, let's say I want to 
do this for four bars. Let's loop this one. And as you can see, since these were duplicated and they aren't looped, it didn't change anything here. So if I change something in this, it's not gonna affect this because these aren't looped tracks. But I'm gonna loop this, sorry, I'm gonna loop this for four bars. Uh, let's say three, three bars. And then the fourth bar, I want, uh, you know, I could use this, this clip and I could mess around with it and change it. Um, I could actually copy this and duplicate it and it's its own clip again. And I could mess with this or I could just create a new mini clip and that's it. Um, so you can copy things within loops and move them around and make it a new clip. What you can't do is edit things within a loop without it changing the actual loop and changing everything else within the loop. So um, that may seem, seem simple to, to others or Ableton users or people that maybe have used Logic and it works a similar way, um, but I just wanna make sure that that's clear. So let's just copy this last bar over. I just duplicated it and moved it over. Um, and I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to just make like I'm gonna change this around like that. And then I can copy all this over there. You can also highlight all of these and hit Command or Control J to consolidate. You can also right click and consolidate. And now I have a new MIDI clip, which is now four bars long. I can loop that. And now I can loop the four bars. Whoops. I'm gonna go in here because the snare is it has like a thing a thing before it. I'm just gonna change it so it feels in time. So as you can see, I just made a new loop by consolidating, which is like bouncing MIDI to MIDI, basically. You're just, you are uh, gluing these MIDI tracks together. Um, you can duplicate instead of looping. So you can just turn loop off or keep it on, it doesn't matter, and just duplicate that much. You can duplicate a little bit, little slices, like it doesn't matter. So I didn't really make anything special, but um, that wasn't the point. The point is, is uh, you can loop or not loop, but within a loop, you cannot change the loop without affecting the loop, if that makes any sense. Um, because it's just reading the first bar that you created. And basically to change the loop, you're just gonna have to, you're, you're just changing the first bar. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then if you want to, you know, convert it to audio, uh, let's just go back before I cut all that up. If you want to convert it to audio, there are two things you can do. You can freeze and then flatten. And now you have audio and you can, you know, edit it that way. Uh, using loops with audio is also the same thing. It functions the same way. But you're just using audio and not MIDI. Um, or you can, in this audio track below it, or you can create an audio track, Command or Control T, um, and then you can either do resampling, which is just the easiest way, and then you can just like solo this track. Oh, I have this on. You can just solo this and then record 
um, or you can choose drum rack from the drop down. And then. Cool. So um, I think that's that kind of covers the MIDI side of things, just how to make it all fit together and, and how to edit it and uh, move things around. Um, just like audio, you can go in and you can change envelopes. You can control the MIDI. You can do MIDI control things like uh, like sustain pedal and any of the CC messages that you want to do. Um, yeah, here they are, expression, pan, balance, volume, all that stuff, modulation. Uh, but other than that, I think that's kind of the basic thing. When you look down here at the loop, well, here's the start and end right here in the notes section. This is the start of the clip, not the loop, the clip. And then this is the end of the clip. You turn loop on, you can also change how much that you're looping, if that makes sense. So if I wanted to change the loop, if you look up here, watch when I change the loop. What it does to the loop. So I'm changing this right here is not the loop it's or the whole clip. It's just the amount that you're looping and you can see it here. This is the loop marker here. You can change it this way as well. So if you just want to loop, you know, three counts. Sorry, the audio track is playing. And if you like that, then you can like, let's get rid of this and then let's uh, move this over because this is a different clip. And then we can just, uh, let's move this guy over here. Yeah, so you, you, can, you can mess with things um, that way. So hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, if I missed something, please let me know in the comments. Um, and, uh, otherwise, you know, like comment, subscribe. Um, I appreciate the support. Anyone who's watching, uh, don't forget to check out my website, noise, Pro excuse me, noiseproxy.com. Um, I have some free stuff on there. I have a couple, uh, I have an instrument and a rack that I just, uh, created yesterday. Um, that's, uh, just water effects. It, it's like a water emulator. Um, and then uh, I'm going to be releasing some more stuff soon. You can check out my music on SoundCloud. Uh, I have a couple like uh, songs up on my YouTube channel. Uh, so make sure you check those out and some of the other tutorials that I have. Um, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.